how is everyone out there? I'm your friend here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. My name is Sarah Buyukan. And uh, today's video, let me answer some of the questions I received from you about the nannies and caregivers in Canada, okay? So to become a nanny or caregiver in Canada is one of the easiest and pathway to become a permanent resident here in Canada. What are the requirements? How can you be qualified to, you know, to come here in Canada and work as a nanny. Okay, so you stay with me until the end of this video. Disclaimer, I'm not an immigration consultant. I don't give job offer to anyone. So this video is for informational purposes only. I'm sorry guys, my son is with me because you know, you behave, okay? Can you do that, please? <laughs> I cannot wait to going to school very soon. September, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's gonna be school boy. <laughs> Say hi. I believe people out there who are aspirant to come and work to this uh, program here in Canada, I believe you guys are aware and probably you guys are completing all the requirements for these nannies and caregivers here in Canada. So people out there who are new to this program, this video is for you. Anyway, the government of Canada is accepting 5,500 uh, applicants every year. The government of Canada introduced these two programs since uh, 2019, Home Support Pilot Program and Home Child Care Pilot Program. So, so under the Home Child Care Pilot Program, they accept applicants 2750 and the home support pilot program they're accepting 2750 also okay so there's a quota for this in order for you to qualify to this uh, program you need to pass the english exam test you need to have a clb passing score of five or you can take your english international english language test ielts you need to have a one year post secondary secondary <laughs> You need to have a one-year post-secondary education and you need to have an employer who can give you a job offer. It's uh, This employer has to be a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident. Actually, I make a video about this, but I just want to make another video for people out there who are just very new to my channel. Applicants also must provide an evidence like a full paid work experience in your own home country. You need to provide a proof of your letter of employment, your credentials, your your latest pay stubs, and if you're going to provide your transcript of records, it has to be authenticated. Applicants also has to provide a paid uh, work experience, letter of employment, your credentials, your transcript of record. Male and female can able to work to this uh, program here in Canada, especially, you know, when you're a male uh, and you have a background work experience like caregiver, or if you have a nurse background, you know, this is like a plus factor for you to apply under the home uh, support pilot program like you are taking care of uh, elderly people with disabilities or uh, children with disabilities if you have all this experience then uh, why not to try okay but it doesn't matter you don't have to have a work experience like you know related to nursing or related to healthcare as long as you have to prove and you have an employer who can give you a job here in canada and that's the most important guys okay there's no age limit for this program and you are allowed to work uh two or three employers okay because this type of program uh they will give you an open permit related to child care okay? in case you come to canada and you work like 20 hours to your employer you are allowed to work in some other employers okay uh it has to be related to the child care you are allowed to work 40 hours a week and the nanny salary here in canada is start 18 dollars per hour when you do your application outside canada you need to submit your application for your permanent resident. This is the opposite with the old uh, program before for the nannies because the old one, you need to work here in Canada for two years. After two years, then you apply for your permanent resident. But this new program for the caregiver and nannies, uh, you have to apply together with your application for your permanent resident. So if you are married, you need to include your husband, your wife, and your children as well, okay? So it up, it's up to you in your application if you want to bring your spouse 
and your children with you here in Canada at once or you have to come first and work as a nanny and then later you can bring them with you okay so probably some people they prefer to come first to you know to prepare for their family before because it's not easy to just come all together unless if you guys have the money right in this program guys it's not a live-in program okay but uh it depends on the employer if the employer wants you to stay in their home and work like a living caregiver then uh it's up to you too you know you save your money your gas if you are driving instead of driving in the morning to go to your employer you just stay in your employer house it's easier and convenience you know i love that when i was a single anyway but if you are married you have your children with you you bring them with you here in canada of course it's good when you work like live out caregiver okay anyway the salary increase so that's the good news application also employer they don't provide a lmia as long as this employer are qualified to hire people from overseas okay because the immigration is still need to ask employers to prove their income that these um employers inside canada are qualified to hire people from overseas now you might ask me again okay sarah how can i apply then if i'm qualified here how can i apply so how do you apply you can apply to the website of canada canada.ca and go to canada job bank you know it's not easy to find an employer here in canada i tell you but you know what keep on applying because some people can still find an employer here in canada you know or you can use agents to find employer for you and you need to pay them to find employer for you here in canada or you can if you have any any relatives ask your relatives if they know someone they can refer so they can hire you to come here in canada okay or if your relatives are qualified to hire you to bring you here in canada then you have to ask them okay you ask them if there's any like you know it's up to you how you approach your family who are in canada because it's not easy to be an employer here in canada i tell you okay it's not because your relatives are here they can just bring you here in canada it doesn't work that way okay like me i'm here long time ago here in canada i cannot just bring all my you know i wish i could just bring them all here but you know it, it's, it's not easy and guys they have so many pathways of how to come to canada okay not just only nannies not just only for caregivers and you can come international student you can come like uh, under work permit work in a farm like you know so many ways to come here in canada i tell you if you guys go to google for me i love to share this because this is my own experience and oh gosh 98 percent of my friend here in calgary alberta we came here as a nanny so i'm so thankful and you know because uh, we got our permanent resident and canadian citizen in this country so for me i just love to share it with you guys my own life experience here because i know people out there like aspirant people who wants to come here in canada and you know you guys have some ideas that's the purpose of why am i sharing all these uh, videos to you guys okay so the government of canada is only accepting 5500 every year okay so if the quota is full then they will stop the applications and they will again start every january so it's up to you guys whatever is your qualifications to come here in canada and you know try to do everything okay so this is the good thing in this uh, program too because money is not really involved like you don't need to have a show money for this uh, program even your spouse or your wife if they come together with you the immigration give them an open work permit so meaning to say you come here in canada with an open work permit you can work any kind of job that you want people out there who are asking me what is my agency when i came to canada i cannot recommend you guys because when i tried to contact i i, I came from hong kong okay i was been a nanny in hong kong and then i cross country to come here in canada but my agency i tried to contact but uh, they don't have reply so i'm not sure if they are still you know active or not so but anyway if you guys are in hong kong you during your days off just walk around and go and search around what is the best agencies for you who can help you to come here in canada and of course you need to spend money because i spend money when i came to canada as a nanny i spend my agencies about four thousand canadian dollar just 
to find an employer for me here in Canada not just only for people in Hong Kong so anyway anyway guys thank you for watching and I'll see you for my next video okay if you have any questions just uh, comment down below and I'll try my best you know thank you for watching and I'll see you for my next video God bless everyone bye